Hi, this is Koshuk Ranchad. Welcome to our weekly immigration show. Today we're talking about U visas, a very powerful visa. So you want to make sure you check out this video because this visa can overcome many things that other visas cannot. Immigration law is very strict in the rules and regulations in whether you maintain status. In many instances, whether you have more than one unlawful entry with unlawful presence for more than a year. So the U visa could possibly overcome some of this. So stay tuned, watch this video, and you're going to get the latest update on the processing times. So you want to see that too, to know how long it's taking, because that's like one of the most popular questions. You know why? Because USCIS, they're taking forever. So stay tuned. And if you haven't already, smash that like button and post your comments below. First of all, let's look at the U visa. The U visa is a great option because it overcomes many types of immigration violations. Also, one of the biggest challenges that I face as an immigration lawyer is so many people coming in who tell me, oh, I have more than one unlawful entry. If you have more than one unlawful entry, depending upon the time that you entered, you may not be eligible for, for instance, I-601A waiver, but the U visa overcomes multiple unlawful entries. So let's talk about how do you qualify? In order to qualify for a U visa, you need to be the victim of a violent crime. You need to have cooperated with police in the prosecution or the investigation of the crime. And you need to have shown mental or physical abuse. So what would an example of one of these crimes be? Domestic violence is an example of one of these crimes. If you're a victim of domestic violence in the United States, you could qualify for a U visa. So you would need to show that by showing how you suffered that abuse, either if that's through mental, if that's through therapist evaluations, or if you're physically harmed and you went to the doctor's medical reports. The police report is a great form of evidence that demonstrates that you were in fact a victim of a violent crime and it also demonstrates the events that occurred that demonstrate how you were affected by the violent crime. Now what's really important is that you also need to have cooperated with the police. If you've not cooperated with the police that could work against you and this is important because in the first step of the process you need to get a certification. So we typically get this from the police agency that issued the police report. Now, they're not gonna be typically willing to issue that if you didn't cooperate with the police. So after you get the police certification, then you can go ahead and submit the U visa application with USCIS. Now, what are the processing times? I know you wanna know that, so let's look at how long these U visas are taking. They're taking longer and longer and longer because more people are applying. Even the bona fide determinations that are issuing work authorizations, what we're seeing is maybe a one to two years they're issued before the actual U visa. Hoping that will actually speed up, but let's look at the actual U visa processing times. The Nebraska Service Center is at 61 and a half months. So that's about five and a half years. That also holds true at the Vermont Service Center as well. I, I did my math a little bit incorrectly. It's a little over five years, not five and a half. This actually seemed a little bit faster than what we're seeing in our office. We're seeing that it's taking one or two more years longer than that. So I'm hoping that these processing times are actually going to reflect what's going to happen or what they plan on doing. But U visas have notoriously taken a long, long, long time. We're hoping this is going to come down, but I expect it actually to go up because more and more people are uh, applying for this. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You are truly amazing. And by watching this video, you're bettering yourself. And by bettering yourself, you're bettering our world. Thank you. Bye for now.